what's up for today guys, it's City Magic, and today we're going to be playing Battlefield 1 Team Deathmatch. So we're going to be using the Masoko Legendary Skin on Revision 9. But I actually like the Zulu better, because it's color white. Um, we're going to be talking about the Martini Henry Snurf. Martini Henry is a um, level 10 gun on the scout class, and it's what um, the other people is trying to... This grind for level because of the one shot kill from the 30s to 80s range and that part is actually the time where people are actually complaining about it because it's so OP and sometimes people are actually gonna talk about you saying you're a what do you call this cheater or something but it's really on the weapon so is the nerf is the nerf is actually that bad um, what they did is uh, they didn't really um, Goliath, boys. Shot trooper. nerf the gun they didn't uh, reduce the damage they only reduced the damage multiplier they say that damage multiplier from the lower part of the body and trooper. up to the upper part of the body is actually what they call this really bad I mean it's not it's really different from the other time um, the damage multiplier from the most parts were so OP that they change it so what is the change the change is actually um, from the lower torso and the upper arms they change it to a 0 0.9 multiplier so if you try to hit it um, from a 30 to 100 rage, it's gonna be like 90 damage. And there's nothing you can do. And also, if they you, um, on the if you try to hit them in in the legs and the forearms, so what you're gonna do is uh, they will mul you have a multiplier of 0 0.75, so their maximum damage is around 0.75. So this was actually um, implemented on different kinds of rifles. And they just noticed that uh, the enemy is um, in the lead. What do you call this? The sweet spot on the I mean the mod damage multiplier on the Martini Henry is actually um, not that you know fixed. So they tried the to fix it. And that's it. <laughs> well will the nerf be that bad? Well, I don't know because usually um, the Martini Henry is actually um, very good in uh, close quarters combat though you only have one bullet at a time because you always reload so when you try to hit an enemy at close quarters combat you usually change directly to your pistol so it's not really um, hassle for you to hit an enemy so when you try to hit an enemy, uh, you just change the pistol, and since you're aiming still for that enemy, um, the aim for the pistol will still be the same. So don't really need to. What do you call this? Do um, hit them with a Martin Henry. So I think there's something else. Uh, I think someone said that the bullet time or the travel distance of the bullets is actually different from uh, they actually slowed it. I don't. I'm not really sure, but I haven't noticed it because you know, um, for example, uh, 500, 500 meters per second is different from. It's not really noticeable on uh, 490 meters per second. I'm not really sure. Um, you can check it out. Information in the giant shadow patch, but um, I don't think they change it. Fairly. I think that they change the multiplier. The so if you're not lucky enough to um, hit them in the upper body, and that's really sad. So the damage multiplier will be your case on having um, lower, you know, kills. KDA for not completing the enemy. Uh, so I don't want to tell anymore. I think it's up for you guys to um, 
to see the rest of the video so and that's all for today guys please like and subscribe to my youtube channel um goodbye thanks for watching in the lead.